Uh, hello and welcome to uh, our well eight nine day of a festival <laughs> probably ten I don't know I don't count any longer since we have uh, 12 movies uh, but anyhow we are in the second week of our festival and um, today we'll screen one very special movie from uh, Serbia actually co-production with America uh, which is about Nikola Tesla. Today Tesla is a very common name since uh, so many cars, mobile phones, everybody talks about Tesla as a trademark. But actually very few people know the history about uh, Tesla. Who is he and how he start and what's happened during these 200 years uh, since he was born. So, the movie was done by uh, director Željko Mirković and we will have a Q&A with him uh, soon after the movie uh, is finished and we really hope that you will enjoy. You will meet some persons that even, uh, how can I say, mark the, the history of uh, uh, science and uh, culture uh, even after uh, Tesla and they did it in Tesla spirit. So Željko did really one great job uh, by comparing people uh, or Tesla with the people who lived actually in our time. So have a nice time and enjoy the movie. <laughs> uh, it's our pleasure to have actually the guest, online guest to our Balkanya Film Festival, 10th edition, uh, director of the movie uh, Tesla, uh, Tesla Nation, uh, which is Željko Mirković. Uh, good evening, Željko. Uh, <laughs> good evening. And welcome to, welcome to our festival. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, as I understand, you are now in Belgrade, but you used to live uh, or used to uh, live in America, in New York? Uh, no, uh, I lived in uh, Virginia, actually. Uh, okay. I, uh, I was teaching there as a film professor, mm -hmm. and uh, we moved back uh, to the Belgrade recently. But uh, in the last two years, I was so much in business contact with New York and Boston, working on several documentary projects. So I'm back and forth to the, the US uh, right now. So in the last two years, I spent a lot of time in, in New York and Boston and half of that period that I was in Belgrade. Okay, uh, I mean, this movie is quite new. And if I have right, I mean, if I remember right, you were also Serbian competition. Uh, uh, how can I say? Uh, it's now nice Swedish words. Um, Predlog, uh, suggestion for the Oscar, wasn't it? In a documentary uh, connection. It is, it is actually uh, on a global base. So uh, it was the Oscar qualified for nomination for feature documentary. So it was run on a global base with a, you know, world. it was not a, uh, in a uh, competition for the international film. It was for the feature documentaries. So you have an mm -hmm. option that your uh, country can uh, go with your film as in international competition, but you can run uh, separately from that and uh, compete with the whole feature documentaries on the, the global base. Yeah, in the world. <laughs> so we were running uh, in, in that level. So we were qualified for uh, 
Oscar nomination in for 2020. Mm. Uh, we had a distribution, official distribution in uh, Oscar qualified cinemas in New York and LA, but we had uh, many, many screenings in Chicago and uh, Boston and uh, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, uh, Miami, uh, Washington, DC. So, uh, and in the, the last, last year, uh, the film was uh, included in uh, many uh, archives and uh, in the US and the global uh, institutions. Uh, so the, the, the destination right now is included in uh, Academy of Motion Pictures uh, archive, the US Congress uh, archive, uh, Harvard University, Princeton, Yale, Columbia, Stanford, and it was also part of the the uh, city libraries in uh, in uh, New York and Boston and LA and Milwaukee, Cleveland, and many others. Okay. And also, yeah, and also we 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 were included in in libraries such as Alexandrian Library in in, in Egypt, the mm. uh, UK Library in London, the official library in London. Uh, Russian National uh, Archive in St. Petersburg and the uh, French National Library in, in, uh, in Paris. So the, the idea is actually to, to, to leave the film for the, for, as a legacy for the future. Mm -hmm. so I think that uh, you have a part of distribution, uh, which is, I can say, uh, focus on one period of time is usually two, three, four years, and then the uh, film is gone, you know, yes, yeah. out of the market. But right now, uh, we, we made a strategy to, to offer film as a legacy for the future and in, in, in important archives for you know, that was idea and. Uh, it is actually going well in that. Great. I, I hear that you already have it around the world, <laughs> which yeah. is how many, I mean, uh, a movie was uh, finished last year, uh, as I understand. No. A movie it was actually finished in t uh, 2018, and okay. late 2018, and we had an official premiere first in Belgrade, and then we had a premiere in uh, New York and uh, later on in, uh, uh, in Pittsburgh, Boston, Cleveland, uh, LA, Chicago, but year, uh, a year later, 2019. So uh, we had a lot of plans for 2020, but you know, Corona uh, yeah. uh, stopped this kind of uh, uh, gathering mm -hmm. in theaters. And uh, that was the, the reason why we decided, okay, let's we uh, leave the, the film in, in the archives for, the, for mm. the future. And also right now we are building a cinema, online cinema, uh, to organize uh, online screenings with the- Screenings, yeah. Yeah. No, well, we are like, like, to, like your yeah. example. <laughs> we are probably a uh, part of that. Well, since you are talking about America, Russia and things like that, you, you must consider that we are, the Sweden is little, especially we are working on uh, with the Balkan people, but um, ideas to, to make better connection with Swedish audience. Uh, so the main target is Swedish people, but somehow we are having them, we have a journalist and it takes its time, you know, <laughs> to establish uh, uh, one festival. It's the 10th year, but uh, 10th jubilee <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. year, but anyhow, uh, we did something, but I think that we have a uh, even long way in front of us to, to, to continue working. Uh, my idea, my question actually was uh, first, uh, it is how long have you worked with this 
project since you have about i don't know 100 people that you're talking with and they're not like uh, street <laughs> yeah yeah we we started with a, a test of science foundation in 2014 i think okay. uh, in june 2014 mm -hmm. on a celebration uh, in philadelphia where uh, it was a big celebration of 200 years of the first official first Serbian uh, immigrant to the, in the United States. It was the uh, George George Shagic or uh, George Fisher. So you saw that in in a, in a film. And then uh, uh, we made a decision to uh, continue with filming people all around the states. Mm -hmm. uh, from east to west coast, from the middle west and the rest of the, the cities. So uh, since then, in the next four four and more years, uh, we filmed uh, more than seventy people yeah. uh, in New York, uh, Philadelphia, Washington DC, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, uh, Boston, Chicago, San Francisco, LA, and many other cities. And, uh, and we included them, some of them in, in a film, some of them we included in a special way. But also, uh, right now we made uh, the, the, the documentary series, uh, mm -hmm. with the with the film. So uh, people can can see the film, but also documentary series. We uh, you can find on my platform optimisticfilm.com mm -hmm. uh, the whole movie and ten episodes, and new ten are coming up very soon because we already finished them and we need to right now to finish with the uh, uploading. And everything is broadcasted in in this and at Serbian national TV RTS, mm -hmm. who was the partner in the film actually, who was the co co producer, and uh, yeah, that was the 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 long journey because mm -hmm. the the idea was to to come directly to to the cities to the the, the, the homes people meet people cities. at the place yes meet yeah. people at the place not put them in a studio and yeah. make uh, you know some interview because we wanted to have more personal mm. uh, story and we got it and yeah. i'm lucky that we, we we succeeded to produce film in that way mm. it's very interesting since it's a uh, tesla nation how you put inside even tesla's thought because one can think okay it will be tesla's biography so much we could see but actually we don't have a, almost nothing from his biography we have just his thoughts yeah. and people yeah. were gathering around yeah that was the the the, the for me uh, as a director of the, the the film was mm -hmm. the, the the main challenge you know if we start explaining because in a film we uh, explain some stories what uh, Tesla, uh, what uh, George Shagic did, Apollo Serbs, uh, uh, any other people. But if you put, uh, if you start with Tesla's inventions and his, uh, you know, uh, legacy for the the, the, mm. the, the future and the, the science, uh, you will never stop. You know, that, that, that will be another movie. Mm. So, but Tesla is a symbol symbol of all of these people because he's the light he's the the, the, uh, the vision and i found out that his thoughts actually uh, and his his uh, approach to the the the, to the world and uh, the humanity and everything what is happening uh, in the past today in the future is connected with with his uh, patterns and ideas and uh, his uh, quotes are actually uh, uh, some kind of guiding us through the, the film and we can say that this is Tesla as a philosopher but he's mm -hmm. a visionary, he's yeah. more a visionary, it's a vision so that put film on the global level Mm. It's not just a story about the Serbs in the United States. It's a story about the all nations who are building all this planet together. And, you know, the, the, the log line could be, we are all one. 
I still to say it, and people are connected with the, with the invisible mm. forces. But also we can say that uh, the log line could be peace through understanding. Mm. Because if we want to build a new world, we need to meet each other, to mm. understand each other. And if we understand each other, then we will respect each other. And, we, and when we respect each other, we can, we can make bridges. Mm. You see that the bridges are, is a symbol in the film. So we are yeah. passing all the time some bridges. Mm. So this bridges is between people, you know, and if, uh, on, on the many levels, mm. on the human level, on the those in, on the other. So the the film is finishing that new world must be born. That's as mm. idea that uh, the world full of understanding and the the, the vision of. Uh, uh, the world where we will respect each other and according to our achievements, according to our human values, uh, without prejudice and the rest of the things. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, something that actually reached me quite deeply is uh, these pictures from uh, before or during the First World War or time before, since my a uh, grandfather from my mother's side, he was at the Pittsburgh and he was working there. And next time I will actually stop the movie through this picture because I can imagine that I can find my grandpa, um, grand, grandfather there. Just a second, if I have that book here, just to show you that okay. he is uh, in case because I, I finish with that. Here is that. <laughs> it's almost... <laughs> Uh, okay, it's it's him. <laughs> yeah, okay, know, you can see. Okay, I see. It's uh, Ber uh, Berkovich, and it's the picture mm -hmm. where he's sitting. And okay. here is, yeah, and here is some uh, place where they worked or do something. I don't know. No, it's great. It's and cool. something which is also very very interesting. You are sh uh, showing the Sloga uh, newspaper. Yeah. And I have one original side of this newspaper, and this is part of it. And in one of them, it's just part of that. I have all pages about, you know, one poster. <laughs> and in one of that is like uh, Vito Berkovic's uh, secretary or something like that. And I know that he had the quite tight connection with the, with the Pupin. So yeah. I was very interested in that, and I was like, what shall we come here now <laughs> are we there so i was like and i was walking where is he uh, it can happen he is from 1908 to 1914 if i uh, almost there so uh and i know that i'm on a way to really reach uh, this uh, sources which is in canada somewhere there they're hippie yeah. So it's very great that you put that uh, that part and even showing the pictures, <laughs> uh, which I find very close. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, because uh, for the begin at the beginning uh, there was a several you know states in in US where the people from the mm. from the Balkans came. That was the. You know, on the west coast, uh, California. That was on the east coast of absolutely mm -hmm. these uh, uh, New England uh, states, mm -hmm. and especially there was a lot of in Pennsylvania and, and Ohio, and later on in Illinois. Mm -hmm. So uh, we followed that path. Uh, mm -hmm. It's for different kind of people find they they, they places. You know, mm -hmm. some of the people from the Balkans escaped from the from the wars, from the, you know, the, you know what was the, 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 the history that half of the, the, the Serbs live in, in, in an uh, Austrian empire, mm -hmm. uh, Austrian-Hungarian empire, and the rest of the Serbs were living in Serbia. When the first war, war started, they didn't want to fight uh, to each other uh, because mm -hmm. some of them was, uh, on the territory of the Austrian uh, uh, Hungarian mm. Empire, they, they 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 didn't want to fight against the Serbs, uh, and they they moved to 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 yeah U.S. and many of them uh, settled in, in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and 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 uh, uh, Illinois, mm. and uh, and 
and there is a story about the, the Pupin who mm. brought them back. Yeah. Almost 20,000 people came to, to support uh, small Serbia in the World War I. Yeah, yeah, it is great, and there, and he's talking even to Croatian people, to Montenegrin people. He's really gathering yeah. all of them in in some kind of same uh, yeah. direction. Uh, yeah, it was really great time, and um, uh, I know a lot about that since I I worked by myself by myself with, with these books. Uh, since this history is disappearing, you know, this generation are not living. Uh, anymore, but anyhow, their like children are living. So some some traces of that life is still uh, around us, like papers, like uh, things they used, and things like that. So it was really uh, really great to know. Where did you reach these uh, archives? Uh, have you? Uh, there, a, there is a lot of different sources, you know. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I had a great connections with the U.S. Congress Library because mm -hmm. we, uh, I was running for Oscars in 2014 with the second meeting, okay. and we had a great screening there in U.S. Congress, and uh, established great connections with them, and they offer us uh, a lot of things to to what they have. And also there is a personal, personal collections, you know, uh, I, I, I can, I, I need to, to, to mention Baba Min, Min Bizic, who, who is a treasure of all the, yeah. for, for everything, I got a lot of things, uh, especially for the Pennsylvania and Ohio region, mm -hmm. uh, and Illinois, but there is a, there is other sources from the, the West Coast, from the East Coast, you know, people are uh, still keeping the memories and keeping the, the um, some archives according mm. to their stories. So for me, that was the, you know, one way was to reach the people for interviews. Uh, as soon as I started, I know that that would be, you know, we cannot, uh, br bring in a film everyone who deserved to be there according to their achievements but if you have a scan some kind of scan from the in, in different fields that would be that would be good for the film mm. and that's why we decided okay that uh, film could open could open a documentary series and in documentary series we can open their personal stories yeah that's yeah. why we, we continue space, with yeah. that yeah so yeah, and also you you are also a great example because uh, uh, living up, uh, not only in Serbia but all over uh, in in all around the, the, the world, it's a, we can say that it is advantage you know for for the the the, 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 the Serbian people because we can we can bring bridges. You mm. know? Uh, this polycentric uh, you know national polycentric. Could be could be advantage, because if we use that that connections from all around the world, we can make a lot of bridges, mm. and that would be amazing. Mm. Well, it is. I think that uh, every one of us actually should have this uh, opinion or that way of thinking. But <laughs> you know, daily duties and everything, making that people are sometimes close, have no Im enough time for things like that. Uh, tell me, you are you finished the school in Belgrade or uh, uh, as a director? Yeah, we, I finished the the. We said that uh, that time was not uh, called that, but uh, four years studies that was a uh, bachelor degree uh, mm -hmm. of uh, film and TV director in Belgrade. Mm -hmm. And then I continue with my master's in, in UK. Mm -hmm. Now I'm finishing my PhD again in Belgrade. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, and I was teaching in US, that was quite experience. Uh, and also I was a guest lecturer in many universities, uh, especially in states, you know, such as Harvard, MIU, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, but also uh, in different places in Europe. So, um, 
that gave me, you know, inside how the uh, students are working there, especially in states. And I can compare this, this, the studies uh, in UK states and some countries in Europe and in Serbia. Hmm. So, and how, yeah. And how long it take to edit this uh, document or since it is very precisely made, I think even these uh, words that they are not telling, but we are hearing them, including their own uh, <laughs> um, interview and um, Tesla's thoughts and places, landscapes. Um, how long t time it took just to edit? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, editing is uh, for, for this project was some kind of special project because mm -hmm. we had a lot of interviews, we had a lot of people. I have an idea how to put that together. Uh, and uh, I made us, you know, when I was teaching students in, in, in States, uh, I always told them that the transcript of material is treasure. So you yeah. cannot get in the editing uh, without good transcript. Yeah. So, uh, and this is the, if you are doing by yourself, it, it is better because you, you will meet material. Uh, so if you have some assistant who is doing that for you, that's also okay. But uh, uh, it's harder to do by yourself, but it's better for the project. Mm. So I did by myself the whole transcript. You, editing. you uh, did uh, no, no, no. I did transcript before okay. editing okay. by myself. So I, I, I met all of these uh, people uh, after uh, years of filming, and uh, I decided to make nonlinear dramaturgy. So each of these stories some kind of puzzle so we yeah. are you know putting the 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 the, the puzzle in a global mm -hmm. picture yeah to make the, the the final idea so uh it's it's different different dramaturgy than than uh usual usual you know, yeah usual so uh but at the end when you have a good uh transcript and you know what you you can do it's it's then it's possible to do in reasonable time sometimes uh it's you know taking uh, a month or less but you know for yeah. the rough cut yeah um, it's, it's it's okay okay great uh and how did you find the uh, uh, actor <laughs> uh, uh, I, yeah i met uh, jack Dimich. uh uh, he's actually Jelko Dimic, uh, 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 who is an uh, actor who's finished uh, the, the, the acting studies, uh, Lee Strasberg, I think, uh, studio uh, in uh, New York. And I met him on 2013, I think, uh, after premiere of the second meeting in New York. Mm -hmm. And at the time he was playing uh, Tesla uh, in uh, some theater in New York. I forgot which theater it was. And then we spoke about the the, uh, the possible cooperation. And uh, as soon as I have a picture how I can put all things together, I call him and we did it in New York. And, okay. Yeah, and we had a lucky and good connection, especially with the Tesla Science Foundation, to get in a Tesla Tesla room and made some some part of the yeah. film there. Yeah. Okay, um, and just idea since you are showing a lot of city in the beginning, is it the cities where Tesla was working, traveling, or it is just uh, free? Uh, it's it's some kind of where we had uh, we, we followed the Serb track of the Serbian immigration. Yeah, yeah. So from east to west coast, uh, uh, and that's the reason why we chose all of these cities uh, mm. who are included in, in a film. And Tesla was filmed only in New York City, 
there was an idea to film it in in uh, Niagara, Niagara Falls, but mm -hmm. at the end we 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 wanted to keep them at one place mm -hmm. uh, in New York, and uh, because that was his place actually, for, yeah, for, for, uh, core of his, and yeah. And uh, then we choose some people who are from these cities uh, mm. and also who belong to different uh, fields of, uh, of, of yeah, yeah, or different Sorry. fields in innovation. Mm. Is it uh, science, is it sport or education, whatever. So, it, you know, we are, Putting people from city to city, but also from field to field, in a in a, in, a, in a final yeah. script. And also, uh, we we had a great partnership with a, a, a Serbian National uh, Federation from mm -hmm. the Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. and also we got a uh, support uh, uh, making a script. Uh, because they gave us, they gave us, uh, they gave us uh, idea how the, the the immigration was was going on during yeah, the, yeah. The, the history. So great. Milos Rastovic, who did it, it were great, very good, and uh, you know it was the reason why we 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 also filmed uh, a lot of things in Pittsburgh. Mm. Okay, and Pittsburgh is actually a place where my <laughs> grandfather was because it yeah. was really some center for this hardworking uh, guy. Absolutely, absolutely. There was uh, the, the, the coal mines. Uh, yeah, the you can the do deep yeah. inside because I know he came from Montenegro. His history is like, like uh, his father and father's brother, they went to some borderline between Serbia, uh, uh, Austria, Hungary, somewhere there, uh, work like um, uh, people who are doing buildings and things like that. But then came plague, I mean, uh, this uh, heart disease. Mm -hmm. And he was isolated from his father and his uh, father's brother, I mean, two brothers, and then died there. Yeah. And he was alone and what he will do. And then he find out that in Rijeka, there is, there is a ship who is taking mm. people to, to uh, or, or Rijeka was Flor, Flor, Florina, Florence, something special was named <laughs> for mm. Rijeka. Uh, and then from Rijeka, he took a boat and uh, went to America and things like that. And then came back. Uh, it was that Mojkovačka Bitka, you know, which is very mm -hmm. <laughs> famous yeah. Bitka, but he came, this first boat which came, which came in the summer, uh, and uh, later boat that started after them was one who, who was uh, dived or who, who uh, how can I say, uh, was a Potopio, uh, that's um. Sank, yes. Uh, this is that Medovo, which is uh, history about that. In, in Cetinje, there is a monument about that and things like that. So that's why I came in this history since I was uh, playing the, the woman in the First World War. And one of them is Vukotic, and my father's mother is Vukotic, and my grandmother from father's side is Vukotic. And I start to reach research and I find out that you know one new history is open in front of my head and i see okay my father i saw grandfather from other side was also coming there and that's how i start with this and everything is because uh, his son my uh, uncle uh, Zivko, he was uh, like he was out every every time he asked me yelena could you find that slogan in america could you find that slogan in america yeah. i was like how can i find them you know it is not easy but slowly slowly things are coming out and even yes. people uh, are gathering around so as soon as you put some something which could be known for more people they're starting gathering and asking and giving more information so it's really great job that you even open that that part which is very important actually yes yes thank you uh, okay you are doing now Syria of this or it is over or uh, yeah we finished the, the, the 10 new episodes 
So uh, right it, now we have 20 of them. Is it, uh, is it Tesla Nation name or how it's? Called? Yeah, it's Tesla Nation documentary series. Uh, it is connected with the, the feature documentary because it's, it's the same idea is, yeah. is mm -hmm. done. But also we, we have a, you know, we wanted to continue with a, a Tesla Nation documentary project, filming different people from different uh, countries in Europe. So we have an idea to continue in Austria, uh, mm -hmm. Switzerland, Sweden, UK, Canada, Australia. So it's a, it's a huge, uh, you know, an, uh, ambitious project, but, you know, we will see. Uh, we will keep that and see what we can do. Uh, we're not in a hurry. Because yeah, well, <laughs> a little bit probably because the old generation are disappearing, which is pity when you don't have a possibility to interview somebody who is important for some reason. Absolutely, but you know, the story will, will, will stay. So yeah. we want to keep memories mm -hmm. and also we, we want to make bridges. No. You know, with telling the stories, you're making bridges, people are meeting each other through the stories. And uh, we wanted to put all of these things on, on, on one pl platform. Right now it is um, optimisticfilm.com. So you can find mm -hmm. series and film there, but we'll see how things are going on. But and, uh, certainly we will continue with, with this one. Uh, and right now I'm on the, on the new project uh, circle dance or we can call it color you know so oh, which is okay. also yeah part of the, the identity of our let's say dna mm -hmm. and it is it is some kind of uh next step of, of uh, which kind of came from from, yeah. from tesla nation uh, like next platform <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah but yeah, because not there more or less <laughs> yeah but you know if you have to respect your roots uh, if you wanted to you know uh, know where you're going in mm. the future without uh, knowing your identity or roots it's 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 not it's not easy to 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 uh, give yourself uh, anywhere where you are living. It is. We can even say that there is no art if you don't have a roots. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> because sure. of the, uh, uh, okay, I start this Eve uh, with some uh, how can I say greetings, telling that Tesla is not just a trademark which we are having around us like cars and mobiles. Tesla yeah. is a person, and we will see uh, and hear a little bit more about it uh, in a movie. So thank you to open this subject, which is very important. Um, and uh, <laughs> when I saw to one uh, Swedish uh, girl here, woman, he was entering uh, here in this space and she said, and I, I'm having a Tesla on a mask, you know, this mask, and I put Tesla. <laughs> I bought it in Belgrade. I said, well, if I need to breathe through the mask, I will breathe through the something which is worth to breathe through. <laughs> and it is Tesla. And she was like, Oh, is it Tesla? I said, yeah, yeah, this is a Tesla. Thinking that she's understanding what means Tesla. She said, you know what? They are making fabrics in Russia, which is making so huge pollution, la, 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 la. I was like, excuse me? And she's thinking about cars and uh, industry and the building. I said, wait a second, Tesla is the person and has not nothing with the cars. <laughs> and, and that's why it is important to, to, to speak and actually about Tesla as a person, which... Yeah. Which we, we need to share the stories. Yes. We need to share the stories and uh, people will... Uh, understand better each other and then they will respect better each other when we see, they yeah, see the to mix trademarks with, <laughs> with yeah. persons. Uh, thank you, Željko, uh, thank you, for yeah. this uh, nice conversation. 
I hope that it will help a little bit for people to to make more uh, to to give them more uh, interest uh, or or a reason to to watch this movie. Uh, and rethink about Tesla and the p uh, people that Tesla is coming from, or at, le at least land that he is coming from. Uh, so uh, on a Sunday, on a Saturday, we will have panel. And if you are free, you are welcome uh, to participate with uh, other uh, directors that were part of the Balkan Youth Festival. We will speak actually about production in the Balkans or production in a huge and what means also a movie from the Balkan, what is that which is inspire us or uh, challenging us to make the movie. So you're welcome uh, to be Thank part you. of that. It will be at about four o'clock. So keep in contact and continue working even <laughs> through this uh, pandemic <laughs> circumstances. Okay and um two more good luck with the festival you're doing a great job and uh, i wish you all the best for for the next uh, projects and uh, i hope that we can see on next festival with new projects yeah and probably meet in person to be absolutely you have you been in stockholm in sweden no it, it was uh uh uh, actually, I, I didn't. I didn't. It was very close to be there, but mm -hmm. uh, I would like to come. Yeah, well, there is reason to come. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you.